Lawrence Peter once said that originality is the fine art of remembering what you heard but forgetting where you heard it. This may sound devious to some, but we're living in an increasingly global zeitgeist and are pelted with discourse from all angles. These discourses, they impregnate us, they traverse us, they guide us, and they confuse us, willingly or unwillingly. We are made of discourses. We are all blank slates ready to be written on. The chalk is our eyes, the slates are our mind. Writing and creation is merely the displacement and transposing of ideas. All writing and creation is, is the collective series of displacement and transposition of what we've all seen before. It is the simple act of repeating. The way the human network is set up, regardless of spoken language, written character sets, and wires, is that when somebody learns something new, it multiplies. This is the power of intelligence. If a dog learns something new, that new something will die with the dog. If a dolphin learns something new, it will be able to teach it to the rest of its family. But if a person learns something new, that idea has a good capacity to reach every person in the species. That is the power of intelligence. I'll tell you something. I'm not looking for fame. The only reason why anybody wants their name attached to things is for advancement in the social structure and for economic benefit. In my opinion, when fear of plagiarism holds back intellectual growth and the creation of new works of art, it should be ignored. As I've said before, I take no credit. I encourage you to take none either. I'm only a vessel for what we have all learned. We stand on the shoulders of giants. You would be a fool to jump off. As M.C. Escher said, originality is merely an illusion.